In the last video, we saw how to run a built-in function using BigQuery. Sometimes there's no function that does what you need it to do. In those cases, you can create a user-defined function. Let's see how to do that. So we've written this query here that shows us the Super Bowls for each team that's won more than four games, sorted by wins, and then by the date of the game. So when we run that query, we see the results are here. So we have the, the teams with six wins, and then the teams with five wins, and then the game, and then these are ordered by the date. Now somebody came along and they said, to make things easier on everybody, instead of, or in addition to displaying the game in Roman numerals, display the game as a number as well. So then people don't have to think about how to convert the Roman numeral into a number. It'll make everybody's life easier. So there is no built-in function that'll convert the Roman numeral into an integer. So we're going to build that function ourselves. So up here in the query, we're going to make a little space at the top for our function. Now, first of all, I'm just going to paste in the shell of the function. So up here, we're going to create a temporary function called Roman to integer. And that's going to take a single argument, which will be a string, and it's going to return an integer. And then down here, the language we're going to use is JavaScript. So notice it says language JS for JavaScript as. So notice here, there's three quotes, and then there's three quotes down here, and then the semicolon. The actual body of the function goes between the three quotes right here. Now, using the miracle of the internet, I did a search and I found a function in JavaScript that'll convert a Roman numeral to an integer. So we're going to reuse that function and just paste it right here in the body of my JavaScript function. Okay, so there's Okay, so there's the function. Now, you don't really have to understand the algorithm there. That's not what it's what is important. What's important is we've created this function and now here is our user defined function in here, which is going to return the right value. And now we want to use it in our query. So again, the, the name of the function is Roman to integer. So let's go here in our select. So we're selecting the wins from the second table, and then we're going to add in another column. So we're going to say Roman to integer, and then we're going to pass in a dot game, which is the field that has the Roman number, and then comma, and then the rest of the fields in the A column. Let's see if that works. So we'll click run, and there are our results. So there's the game, and then there's the value of the game. I guess we should alias that resulting field as well. So we'll say Roman to integer parentheses a dot game as, and we'll just alias that field as game number. And let's run it again. So there we have it, game number nine, and then there's the Roman numeral version. Anyway, the important point was how we can use user-defined functions within our BigQuery queries when there's no built-in function that does what we need to do. This is Doug Renstrom with ROI Training.